I love the motivational side of, of the game. Can you talk about one of the things you tell your group of pitchers at the beginning of spring training? It is the marshmallow jelly bean rock. Right. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I have to start this out by saying this isn't something that originated from me. I mean, yeah. I heard it somewhere down the road. and. Um, I, I, it always stuck with me because it made a lot of sense. But I talk about there being three types of players, um, the marshmallow, the jelly bean, and the rock. And, you know, when you apply pressure, heat, um, to, to the marshmallow, um, it, it doesn't take very long before the marshmallow wilts, right? The jelly bean, on the other hand, uh, has the hard exterior shell and the kind of the soft inside, right? You apply pressure, heat to, to him. Um, he can withstand it for a little while, but sooner or later, it, you know, the jelly bean is going to, to break down as well. If you do the same thing to the rock, right, it only just gets darker and meaner and hotter and, um, you know, obviously it's not going to change the formation of the rock. And so, you know, we talk about the, the three types of players and who we'd, what, who we'd like to be. Well, of course, we would all aspire to be the rock. Um, and sometimes we're, we're probably pretty jelly beanish as well. But, you know, the, the progression of the player going from a jelly bean to a rock, um, that takes game experience and it takes, you know, sort of an understanding of what it takes to be successful in the game. And, um, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of guys improve in that area. I, I think it's possible. So, um, you know, for me, it's it's worth saying at the beginning of, of the year. And what we have what we, what we call the rock of the week uh, now, you know, and so if we have a good performance or performance, maybe we're talking about Louie with the bases loaded, no one out getting out of the gym. Uh, he's getting the rock of the week, and um, you know it just you know it's just it signifies that you know he was had, had that kind of rock moment. Um, you know, so I think it's it's a worthwhile pursuit. And you actually have rocks. Eric Jagers, your assistant pitching yeah. coach, got rocks, and they're inscribed. I actually have one of them. Yeah. I've showed it on the air. Yeah. Um, so it's a cool little memento for them to have, to have to be that rock of the week and have the rock. Yeah, and you would, you would think, too, I mean, being in the big leagues, that that wouldn't be an important thing. I, I can't tell you how many times I could see on a guy's face when we gave him that rock, like how important it was to him. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a small thing, but it's a big thing as well. Now, you've taken it a step further. The, best part for me is the vest. Now, the Rock of the Week also comes with a leather motorcycle gang type vest. Yes. And they wear that thing proudly. And it's great. It is great. It's a great look. It, it, it's, uh, it's actually Eric Jaggers, my assistant, yeah. kind of came up with the idea, and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, I, I guess I just couldn't see it in my mind. But then, you know, now that we have it, it's great. And I, I just, I really like the, the feel of it. I think it's cool. I think they wear it proudly. I think they get, you, you know, they, they almost have a costume, too, when they get to wear it. Um, you know, they'll get the chains out. They'll get the boots out. And that's kind of cool.